Hey guys, it's me Skylar Capri and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Bath & Body Works FAQ style video on what is a faceted product and what that means for you as a buyer. So I remember watching a lot of videos saying, you know, they're coming out with a faceted collection. They're, you know, this product is now faceted so it costs more and I didn't really understand what that meant until I watched a couple more videos. So I thought I would kind of walk you through faceted versus unfaceted and what that means for you. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video and let's just jump right into it. So what is a faceted bottle? What does that even mean? So faceted is the design style of the bottle and it's this sort of raised pattern that's actually on the bottle. It's not like a sticker or anything. So this is an example of a faceted bottle and this is an example of something that's unfaceted. It's just the sticker on the bottle. Then again, these are just two fine fragrance mists. Um, it does come, there's faceted lotions, faceted, um, gosh, what's, why am I like blanking? Faceted shower gel, I don't know where I was going with that, but there's not any faceted body creams. Um, you won't see like this imprint pattern, it'll just sort of be a design on the actual body cream bottle. So, what does this mean for you as a buyer? This is the most important. So, a faceted collection bottle is usually anywhere from one to two dollars more expensive than a non-faceted bottle. So this bottle right here is $16.50 and this bottle right here is $17.50. And this is very confusing to people who are trying to use their coupons for, you know, get a free product under $16.95. That can be very confusing and it can be hard to budget. If you want a particular fragrance and it's faceted, you're gonna use that coupon, but now obviously because it's above that $16.95 threshold, you can't use it. So what does that mean for you? So really, I would say I got this as a gift and I think the bottle is really pretty, but basically what you are paying for is this extra design choice. I suppose it would be the simplicity of the bottle. I think that's why a lot of people like them. If you maybe like store them in a way that you want to see all of them or you have like a collection style bookcase where you kind of show off certain products. I understand why some people might think this is, you know, more appealing to the eye or might want to spend a little bit more money to get this style of bottle. However, for me personally, these are the same product. They're both fine fragrance mist, not the same, you know, fragrance, but they're both the same product and I don't really need to go out and buy something just for the bottle when it's just being used and I'm not like collecting it or you know putting it on a bookcase to show it off. So I hope you guys this sort of helped you with understanding what fasted versus unfasted is. I understand that the fall 2023, so last year that early collection with I believe leaves, um, cherry, black cherry merlot, it was the collection before marshmallow pumpkin latte and all those sort of embossed ones came out that was faceted and I think the body cream got up to $18.95 something just absurd so um it will be around there will be faceted collections coming out usually in the summer they don't do it it's usually just this very you know pretty sticker packaging because it's brighter colors and obviously people want coconuts or palm leaves or something like that I've noticed that in the spring and summer they do a lot more of just a sticker style while in the fall and winter they really go for that faceted collection so a faceted collection does not mean it's signature. It can be seasonal. I know that's another misconception that a lot of people had, but again, unless it's a seasonal product that you really want, or you can get it at a $4.95, you know, lotion sale or a $4.95 or $6.95 all body care day sale, I really wouldn't recommend, you know, buying that full price one or two going in there with a coupon thinking you can buy it and you can't. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I will be filming my project use it up part two for Sunday of this week. I have made really good progress, you guys. I'm very excited to share with you um, sort of the products, the products that I've used up and the products that I have made a considerable dent in. So I'm excited to film that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.